I'm not Alejandro Vergara. He asked me to do this. So anyways, I guess I'll just review the movie like he does. Hi, my name is Rolando Vinas and I am an independent filmmaker and screenwriter in South Florida and I'm here as a guest reviewer to review The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. The film was directed by Ben Stiller. He's mostly known for acting in comedies, but he's directed other films as well, such as Tropic Thunder, Zoolander, The Cable Guy, and my personal favorite, Reality Bites. Uh, what's nice about this one is that it's not as zany as all his other films, and there's actually a nice message. This film is actually based on a short story by James Thurber, and it's a story about this man that his imagination runs wild, and he gets lost in his thoughts. He works at Life magazine, and he's responsible for all the negatives for the photos that actually make their way into the magazine. And there's one of the negatives that's missing, and that's the negative that's supposed to make it on the final cover for the Life magazine. So now he has to go in search of this negative. And of course he goes on this journey that is probably more exciting and more exhilarating than any of his imaginative adventures that go on in his head. What the movie has going for it is that it has a really strong message. You have the Walter Mitty character who has to grab life by the balls and just live. So he's actually forced to have to explore the world and it becomes uh, the best thing that he ever did. The special effects are actually pretty amazing uh, in the sense that I was not expecting for this amount of special effects to be put into this movie. There's some superhero moments. They're mostly like outtakes, but they're pretty humorous. That being said, probably the weakest part of the movie is maybe the plot because you never really believe that that Walter Mitty, who is a guy who is a bit of a nebbish, who doesn't really do anything with his life, is all of a sudden exploring the world and doing all these crazy things, so it's not believable in that sense. Overall, this is a nice film, but the reality is it'll probably stay with you for about 48 hours and then you're going to forget it because you're going to go move on to other things in your life, especially New Year's that's coming up and Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, but I'd say that I'd give this a 7.5 out of a 10. I'd probably say that you don't necessarily have to see this movie in a theater. You could probably wait for Redbox or Netflix or any of these other ones. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if uh, you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter at MovieCriticGuy. Please subscribe, share, and let us know what films you're looking forward to watching in 2014. And remember, it's not always about the story, but how you tell it. <laughs> what? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want to say. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Why can't I get this right? No, why does he feel free to subscribe? I keep saying that for Twitter.